Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Zenzo with Tozawa Tanks. Now there are a lot of different ways of buying fish for your home aquariums. You can get them at your big box store. That's gonna be a Petco or a PetSmart or something along those lines. You can order them online from places like Aquahuna, Aquabid. You can also get them from your local fish club. They'll usually have an auction or a fish swap or something like that. You can also get them from private transactions. That happens all the time as well. But my favorite way of buying fish and what I wanna talk about today is from your local fish store. Now when I'm talking about local fish stores, I'm not talking about your local big box store. So we're not talking about Petco or PetSmart. We're talking about that small brick and mortar and maybe they're not small, maybe they're a bigger aquarium store like the Aquarium Depot where I went to a few months ago, um, or it could be a very small local fish store, but basically it's a brick and mortar, locally owned fish store where they specialize in aquatics. Now, the first reason why I think it's a great benefit of buying my fish from a local fish store is because the fish are usually acclimated to the same water that I use in my aquarium. So because I live in a city and I go to a local fish store, they're in the same city, they're getting their water from the same water source. Basically the fish that they have in their store are in the same water that I have in my home aquarium. So it's an easier transition when it comes to introducing those fish to my fish tanks. Now, another reason why I like to buy my fish at a local fish store is because I have a chance to look at the fish and choose the exact fish that I want, whether it's a cichlid or some tetras or whatever it might be. I have the opportunity to look at a bunch of fish in that tank and decide that's the one I want. And then I know that I'm getting the fish that I want and I'm not relying on someone, you know, some from far away, basically, you know, making a selection for me. I can look at that fish and say, that's the one that I want, or those are the group of fish that I want. And that allows me to look at their health. Do, do I see any visible signs of infection? Do I see any visible signs of parasites like ick? Uh, I can look at their the shape of their body and see if uh, they've been eating, if their you know bellies are full, or if they're skinny and emaciated. So I'll be able to see all of those things. Color is another thing that I'm able to look at. Uh, the fins, what shape are the fins in? Are they all nipped and tattered? Or do, they look, or do they look, you know, relatively healthy and just like, you know, it's a great looking fish. So these are all good reasons why when you are choosing a fish for your aquarium, you can see it, select it, choose it, and then bring it home. Another great thing when you are looking at those fish in the in the tanks at the store, you can talk to an employee and ask them like, tell me more about this fish. How does it feed? Have, have you been noticing it eating? Can I see it eat? And if it's like a fish that might be a little bit more rare or difficult to eat or difficult to feed, knowing that these are a little bit pickier eaters, you can ask them and they very likely will, you know, get some fish food, feed the fish and show you what they've been feeding. And then you'll know, okay, this fish is a good representation of this fish and I'll be able to take it home and, and uh, hopefully be able to continue on caring for it. Now, those first couple of points as far as water parameters and being able to select the fish, yes, you theoretically could do the same thing at big box stores and don't get me wrong, some big box stores are good or their fish department's good. Uh, maybe they have some, you know, Maybe one of you works out of one of those big box stores and you happen to be an aquarist and really you know, excited about the hobby. But generally, when we're talking about big box stores, a lot of the employees that work in there don't necessarily know a whole lot about fish. Maybe they know a whole lot about you know, cats or rabbits or reptiles or dogs or whatever it might be. And it might be that the person that's catching the fish for you and you're trying to ask ask them questions, they may not know enough about the fish to give you a good answer. So a good reason why I like to shop at local fish stores is the employees of the fish store, that's all they do. So they're gonna know a whole lot more when it comes to caring for the fish or the origin of the fish or the, the uh, habits and characteristics of the fish, the behavior, tank mates, things like that, than other stores where they're more concerned about dog food and grooming than they are about the behavior of the Tetra in your tank. Another great thing about local fish stores is you get to know the people that work there, whether it's the owner or the employees, you can build build rapport with them. Basically, you'll get to know them, you get to build a relationship with them. So it's good if you want to maybe sell something something to them so maybe you are breeding shrimp or you're you know breeding fish and you have all these extra angel fish or whatever it might be 
you can then, you have that relationship and you can say, hey, Steve, store owner, I have all these angels or I have, you know, these red cherry shrimp, would you like to buy some from me or can I trade them in for store credit or fish food or whatever it might be. And generally the fish store is going to work with you because they also want to foster that relationship and they want to help you because they want to continue on with you as a customer. Now you're not going to have that situation at the big box stores. You cannot go into a Petco or PetSmart with a bag of 50 angel fish and try to trade it in for fish food. They're going to look at you like, like you're crazy and you're not going to get anywhere with them. So so um, that's another benefit of uh, the local fish stores. You can build that relationship. Another great thing is like, let's say you want to, maybe you're watching one of my videos and you see a fish that's rare, like a mudskipper or a top hat blenny or something like that. And you're like, I want that fish. You're not gonna find that in the big box stores and you may or may not find it in the local fish store. But if you build that relationship, they might say, yeah, the next time I see it on the list, I'll order some for you. And probably the most important thing when it comes to why I like to support my local fish store is because I'm supporting a local business. I'm supporting someone that has, you know, dedicated their time and resources and, you know, money and, and everything to create this fish store and serve their community and giving them great, you know, aquatic pets. Think what you want about larger companies and things like that. There are you know, pros and cons of those, but if you have the opportunity to support a smaller business, I, I think it's a great thing, right? So whether it's a, a fish store or you know, some other type of business, if you have the opportunity to meet the owner, you know, talk to the employees that are you know, vested in the success of that uh, business, um, it, it's just a good feeling and you're, you're helping the community, you're helping the store. And really, I, I do feel like those types of opportunities operations are really the backbone of this hobby. So overall, I think that having the fish stores is very beneficial for educating people, for taking care of our animals, for finding, you know, those amazing different types of species that you may not see in other places and supporting your local fish store is going to allow them to continue on being in business. Now, I actually remember a time when I got my very first aquarium fish. This was I'm aging myself now, but this was when I was a kid back in the 1980s. I still remember the local fish store, where they were located, and I remember going in there with my parents and talking to the employees, asking questions. I was pretty little, but my parents were asking questions on the care of the fish and filtration and water changes and all this stuff. And so the local fish store was able to help my parents, who then allowed me to have this fish tank, and then I continued my love for the hobby and I probably wouldn't be here today if I didn't have that experience at a very young age. So it's a great reason to support your local fish stores because you are going to have, you know, those people that are really, you know, wanting to see you succeed with your aquariums. So with that, hopefully you have a fish store in your area, a local fish store that you can go and support. And it might be where, you, you know, you live in an area where you're cool mom and pop brick and mortar local fish store is like an hour away. Maybe it's worth taking a drive sometime on a weekend and spending a day and make a day of it, a trip. You know, go go see some different fish stores, support them, find something neat. You never know what hidden gems you might find. And even if that big box store is down the street, maybe just, you know, take, take that extra drive and uh, explore and uh, find a local fish store that you can support. If you got this far and you're still watching, do me a big favor, hit that like button. And if you have not done so already, please subscribe. Check out this video over here. We'll catch you on the next one.